5. 5.1. In the first month of spring, ZAO1 points to the earthly branch, Yin. ENE. The lunar lodge, a ray culminates at dusk, tail culminates at dawn. Spring occupies the east. Its days are the heavenly stems, Jia and Yi. The fullness of potency is in wood. Its beasts are those of the scaly class. Its pentatonic note is Ju. The pitch pipe of the first month is great budding. The number of spring is eight. Its flavor is sour. Its smell is rank. Its sacrifices are made to the door god. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the spleen is offered first. The east wind dispels the cold. Hibernating creatures begin to stir and revive. Fish rise and rub their backs against the ice. Otters sacrifice. Fish too look for the geese to return north. The son of heaven wears blue-gree clothing. He mounts a carriage drawn by azure dragon. Horses. He wears azure jade, pendants, and flies a blue-gree banner. He eats wheat with mutton. He drinks water gathered from the eight. Winds three and cooks with fire, kindled from fern stalks. The imperial ladies of the eastern palace wear blue-gree clothing with blue-gree trim. They play Qi and selenium, musical instruments. The weapon of spring is the spear. The domestic animal of spring is the sheep for the son of heaven holds the dawn session of court in the corner chamber of the MGTAG, to the left of, i.e., counterclockwise from, the blue gree yang chamber in order to promulgate the spring ordinances. He extends his moral potency, bestows favor, carries out rites of celebration and praise, and reduces corvi exactions and tax levies. 539ths forward slash 37 on the first day of spring, the Son of Heaven personally leads the three sires, the nine lords, and the great nobles to welcome the year at the altar of the eastern suburbs. He repairs and cleans out the place of sacrifice and employs wealth offerings to pray to the ghosts and spirits. Only male animals are used as sacrificial victims. It is prohibited to cut down trees. Nests must not be overturned nor the unborn young killed. Likewise neither young creatures nor eggs. People must not be assembled for labor duty or fortifications erected. Skeletons must be reburied and corpses interred. 539ths forward slash 911. If during the first month of spring the ordinances of summer were carried out, then there would be unseasonable winds and rain, plants and trees would wither early, and there would be fear in the state. If the ordinances of autumn were carried out, the people would suffer. Epidemics Violent winds and torrential rains would arrive at the same time, and thorns, weeds, briars, and overgrowth would spring up together. If the ordinances of winter were carried out, floods would create ruin, and there would be rain, frost, and great hailstones. The first sown seeds would not sprout. 539ths forward slash 1314. The first month governs the master of works. 
its tree is the willow 5. 5 ninths forward slash 16. 5.2. In the middle month of spring, Zedayo points to Mao, E. The Luna. Lodge, bow culminates at dusk, establishing stars culminates at dawn. Spring, occupies the east. Its days are Jia and Yi. Its beasts are, those of. The, scaly, class. Its, pentatonic, note is Ju. The pitch pipe, of the. Second month, is pinched bell. The number, of spring, is eight. Its flavor, is sour. Its smell is rank. Its sacrifices are made to the door god. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the spleen is offered first. The rains begin. Peaches and pears begin to blossom. The oriole sings. Hawks metamorphose into pigeons. The son of heaven wears blue-gree clothing. He mounts. A carriage drawn by Azua Dragon. Horses. He wears Azua Jade, pendants, and flies a blue gree banner. He eats wheat with mutton. He drinks water gathered from the eight. Winds and cooks with fire, kindled from fern stalks. The Imperial Ladies of the Eastern Palace wear blue gree clothing with blue gree trim. They play the Kui and the Selenium. The weapon of spring is the spear. The domestic animal of spring is the sheep. The son of heaven holds the dawn session of court in the blue gree yang chamber of the Migtag. He orders those in authority to ameliorate penal servitude and to cause manacles and fetters to be struck off. There is to be no flogging, and criminal trials are halted. The young and the small are to be nourished, and the orphaned and childless protected in order that these policies may communicate their efficacy to the growing sprouts. Six he chooses an auspicious seven day and orders the people to sacrifice at shrines. 5 ninths forward slash 18. 23. In this month, the days and nights are equally divided. The sound of thunder begins to be heard. Hibernating insects all stir and revive. Anticipating the thunder by three days, he sends messengers to strike. Bells with wooden clappers, proclaiming among the people. The thunder is about to sound forth. Those who are not careful of their demeanor and who give birth without taking appropriate precautions will surely suffer catastrophes. He orders the master of markets to make uniform all weights and measures, the june, the stillyard, the dan, the catty, the peck, and the pale. In this month, one must not drain rivers and marshes, draw off water from embanked ponds, set fire to the mountain forests, or undertake any large-scale works such as would impede the efficiency of farming. In sacrifices, animal victims are not used, rather. One uses jade, scepters and discs, fur pelts and rolls of silk cloth 539ths forward slash 25 540ths forward slash 2 if during the second month of spring the autumn ordinances were carried out the country would suffer great floods and cold winds at the same time bandits and rog barbarians would attack if the ordinances of winter were carried out, the young Kui would not prevail, wheat would not ripen, and the people thereby would suffer great ruin. 
if the ordinances of summer were carried out, the country would suffer great drought and hot kiwi would arrive prematurely. Insect pests would wreak havoc. 5 40th forward slash 4 5 The second month governs the granary. Its tree is the almond. 5 40th forward slash 7 5.3 In the final month of spring, Zedeo points to Chen, ESE. The Luna. Lodge, seven stars culminates at dusk, ox leader culminates at dawn. Spring, occupies the east. Its days are Jia and Yi. Its beasts are, those of. The, scaly, class. Its, pentatonic, note is Ju. The pitch pipe, of the third. Month, is maiden purity. The number, of spring, is eight. Its flavor is sour. Its smell is rank. Its sacrifices are made to the door god. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the spleen is offered first. The tong tree begins to bloom. Field miche transform into quail. Rainbows first appear. Duckweed begins to sprout. The son of heaven. Wears blue-gree clothing. He mounts, a carriage drawn by, Azua dragon. Horses. He wears Azua jade, pendants, and flies a blue-gree banner. He eats wheat with mutton. He drinks water gathered from the eight. Winds and cooks with fire, kindled from, fern stalks. The Imperial Ladies of The Eastern Palace wear blue-gree clothing with blue-gree trim. They Play the Kiwi and the Selenium. The weapon, of spring, is the spear. The Domestic animal, of spring, is the sheep. The Son of Heaven, holds the Dawn session of court in the corner, chamber of the Mictag, to the right of the blue gree yang chamber. He orders, the master of boats to turn over the boats, to inspect them, five times over and five times back and then to deliver a report, on their condition, to the son of heaven. The son of heaven thereupon eight boards his boats for the first time, in the new year. A sturgeon is offered in the inner chamber of the ancestral temple, and prayers are made that the wheat should bear grain. 5 40ths forward slash 9 13. In this month, the production of kiwi reaches its fullest, and, young kiwi is released. Young plants grow no more, and the sprouting plants attain their maximum growth, but they cannot, yet, be gathered in. The Son of Heaven orders those in authority to open the granaries and storehouses to assist the impoverished and the bereft, to relieve the exhausted and those who are cut off from their families, and to open the strong rooms and treasuries to distribute rolls of silk. He sends embassies to the nobles, inquires after eminent scholars, and performs courtesies to the worthy. He orders the minister of works, when the seasonal rains are about to descend, to mount his carriage as the water descends and following all of the roads from the capital city, make an inspection of the plains and uncultivated fields, repairing the dikes and embankments, channeling the ditches and water courses, following to its end every road, and comprehending every byway, beginning at the metropolis, stopping, only, upon reaching the border. Those who hunt, whether with nets or with arrows, with rabbit snares or bird nets, or by putting out poisoned bait, are prohibited from going out 
from the nine gates of the city. The Son of Heaven also issues a prohibition to the foresters in the wilderness, saying that there must be no cutting down of mulberry trees or kudrea trees nine the turtle dove spreads its wings and the crested hoipo lands in the mulberry tree. Preparing plain cocoon frames, ten round baskets and rectangular baskets. The royal consort and the royal concubines fast and perform austerities. Then they go eleven to the mulberry groves in the eastern suburbs where the lady overseers initiate and supervise the work of sericulture 12. He commands those in charge of the five storehouses to order the workmen to inspect the gold and iron, the pelts and hides, the sinew and horn, the arrow shaft bamboo and the bow wood, the grease and glue, the cinnabar and lac, seeing to it that there is none that is not excellent. Selecting an auspicious day in the last ten-day period of the month, he holds a great musical performance, which brings jubilation. Moreover, he orders bulls to be mated with cows and stallions with mares, afterward. The female animals are driven out to their herdsmen. He orders on behalf of the kingdom an exorcism at the nine gates of the capital city, and sacrificial animal victims are torn apart in order to bring an end to the cue of springtime. If the ordinances for this month are observed, sweet rain will fall during the three ten-day periods of the month. 540 ths forward slash 1522 if during the last month of spring the ordinances of winter were carried out then cold qe would from time to time issue forth all the plants and trees would wither and the state would suffer great fear if the ordinances of summer were carried out the people would suffer epidemics the Seasonal rains would not fall, and nothing would grow on the mountains. And tumuli. If the ordinances of autumn were carried out, heaven would produce a flood of yin. Rains would fall, unseasonably, early, and military rebellions would break out. 540th forward slash 2425. The third month governs villages. Its tree is the pear. 540ths forward slash 27. 5.4. In the first month of summer, Zedeo points to Sai, SSE. The Luna. Lodge, Wings culminates at dusk, the constellation, Widow culminates at dawn. Summer, occupies the south. Its days are bing and ding. The fullness of potency is in fire. Its beasts are those of the feathered class. Its pentatonic note is Zedi. The pitch pipe of the fourth month is median regulator. The number of summer is seven. Its flavor is bitter. Its smell is burnt. Its sacrifices are made to the stove god. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the lungs are offered first. Crickets and tree frogs sing on the hillsides, earthworms emerge. The king melon begins to set fruit. Bitter herbs flourish. The son of heaven wears vermilion clothing. He mounts. A carriage drawn by black maned vermilion horses. He wears vermilion jade, pendants, and flies a vermilion banner. He eats legumes with chicken. He drinks water gathered from the eight winds and cooks with fire, kindled from Kudreya.
branches. The imperial ladies of the southern palace wear vermilion clothing with vermilion trim. They play reed pipes and mouth organs. The weapon of summer is the glaive 13. The domestic animal of summer is the chicken. The son of heaven holds the dawn session of court in the corner chamber of the Mictag, to the left of the Mictag chamber, in order to promulgate the summer ordinances. 541sts forward slash 15. On the first day of summer, the Son of Heaven personally leads the three sires, the nine lords, and the great nobles to welcome the year at the altar of the southern suburbs. Returning from this ceremony, he bestows favors, enfefs nobles, rectifies ceremonials and music, and gives a feast for the officials of the left and the right. He commands the Intendant General to single out for praise the heroic and meritorious, to select the eminent and excellent, and to raise up the filial and fraternal. He carries out ceremonies of ennoblement and issues official emoluments, assisting the work of heaven. He increases the nurture of the people, lengthens what is long, and piles up what is high. There must be no destructive or vicious behavior. It is prohibited to build up earthen fortifications or to cut down great trees. He orders the foresters to travel through the cultivated fields and the plains to encourage the practices of agriculture, and to drive away, both, wild and domestic animals so as not to permit them to harm the growing grain. The son of heaven takes a pig, and sacrificial wheat and presents them as the first offerings in the inner chamber of the ancestral temple. Domestic Animals are rounded up, and the hundred medicinal herbs are gathered. The fragile grassy plants die, and wheat attains its autumn growth. Minor Criminal cases are decided, and petty punishments are carried out. 541sts forward slash 710 If during the first month of summer the autumn ordinances were carried out, then bitter rains would come on numerous occasions. The grain would not be nourished by that rain. Neighboring peoples on four sides would penetrate the country's defensive fortifications. If the ordinances of winter were carried out, the plants and trees would dry up. Early thereafter there would be floods destroying the city walls and outer fortifications. If the ordinances of spring were carried out, grasshoppers and locusts would cause devastation, scorching winds would come and attack the fields, so that the flourishing plants would not bear seed. 541sts forward slash 1213 The fourth month governs the tilled fields. Its tree is the peach. 541sts forward slash 15. 5.5. In the second month of summer, Zedeo points to Wu, S. The Luna. Lodge, neck culminates at dusk, the lodge, rooftop culminates at dawn. Summer, occupies the south. Its days are bing and ding. Its beasts are those of the feathered class. Its pentatonic note is Zedi. The pitch pipe of the fifth month is luxuriant. The number of summer is seven. Its flavor is bitter. Its smell is burnt. Its sacrifices are made to the stove god. 
from the body of the sacrificial victim, the lungs are offered first. The lesser heat arrives, mantises are born. The shrike begins to cry. The turn tongue is not heard. 14 The son of heaven wears vermilion clothing. He mounts, a carriage drawn by, black maned vermilion horses. He wears vermilion jade, pendants, and flies a vermilion banner. He eats legumes with chicken. He drinks water gathered from the eight winds and cooks with fire, kindled from Kudreya branches. The imperial ladies of the southern palace wear vermilion clothing with vermilion trim. They play reed pipes and mouth organs. The weapon of summer is the glaive. The domestic animal of summer is the chicken. The son of heaven holds the dawn session of court in the Migtag Great Chamber. He commands the music master to repair the hand drums and kettle. Drums, the cue and the selenium, the flutes and pan pipes, to polish the bells and chimestows, and to attend to the ceremonial shields battle axes, hold birds, and feather plumes, used in war dances. He, commands those in authority to pray and sacrifice to the, mountains, rivers, and the hundred, equals all, river sources. In the great, prayer to the gods for rain, a full panoply of music is employed. The sun, of heaven takes a chicken, and, the sacrificial payer called millet, along with a sacrificial offering of ripe peaches, and presents them, all, as first offerings in the inner temple of the ancestral temple. He issues prohibitions to the people, saying that they must not reap indigo for dyeing, bake charcoal, or dry bolts of cloth in the sun. City and village. Gates must not be closed, and, taxes must not be levied on markets. Serious criminal cases are put off, and, the prisoners, rations are increased. Widows and widowers are preserved, from want, and relief is distributed to, those incurring, funeral expenses. The, pregnant, female. Animals are separated out from the herds, and, stallions and colts are tied up. The ruler, promulgates regulations for, the raising of, horses. 541sts forward slash 1724. The longest day, of the year, arrives. Yin and Yang contend. Life and. Death reach a dividing point. The nobles fast and perform austerities. They display no angry emotions, refrain from music and sex, and eat. Meagerly. Officials all rest in tranquility from their duties and do not travel. Abroad, all this, in order to make definite the establishment of the serene. Forces of, Yin. Deer shed their antlers, and, cicadas begin to sing. The half-summer plant begins to grow, and, the hibiscus tree blooms. A prohibition is issued to the people, saying, they must not set fires. But, it is permitted to dwell in high places, so as to see clearly into the distance. To climb on hills and mounds, and to stay on estrades and towers. 541sts forward slash 2628. If during the middle month of summer the ordinances of winter were carried out, hail and sleet would damage the grain, the roads would be impassable, and fierce armies would invade. If the ordinances of spring were carried out, the five kinds of grain would not ripen, all kinds of 
destructive insects would spring up during the season, and the country would suffer famine. If the ordinances of autumn were carried out, the plants and trees would droop and fall, fruits and grains would ripen prematurely, and the people would suffer calamities of pestilence. 540 seconds forward slash 1 2. The fifth month governs functionaries. Its tree is the elm. 540 seconds forward slash 4. 5.6. In the final month of summer, Zedeo points to Wei, SSW. The Luna. Lodge, heart culminates at dusk, the lodge, stride culminates at dawn. Midsummer, occupies the center. Its days are Wu and Jia. The fullness of potency is in earth. Its beasts are those of the naked class. 15 its pentatonic note is gong. The pitch pipe of the sixth month is hundred. Bell 16 the number of midsummer is five. Its flavor is sweet. Its smell is fragrant. Its sacrifices are made to the god of the drain hole. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the heart is offered first. The cool winds begin to arrive, and crickets dwell in the snug corners of the house. Young geese begin to practice flying, and Rotting vegetation transforms into millipedes. 17 The Son of Heaven wears yellow clothing. He mounts a carriage drawn by black maned yellow horses. He wears yellow jade pendants and flies a yellow banner. He eats millet with beef. He drinks water gathered from the eight winds and cooks with fire kindled from. Kudreya branches. The imperial ladies of the central palace wear yellow clothing with yellow trim. They play reed pipes and mouth organs. The weapon of midsummer is the sword. The domestic animal of midsummer is the ox. The son of heaven holds the Dawn session of court in the central palace, chamber of the Migtag. He commands the master of fisheries to spear scaly dragons, capture alligators, fetch up turtles from the depths, and capture sea turtles. He commands the marsh masters to present timber and rushes. He commands the four supervisory lords to order all districts to present the customary amount of fodder to feed the sacrificial beasts in service to the supreme theak of august heaven 18 the illustrious mountains the great rivers and the gods of the four directions he sacrifices millet in the great sanctuary of the ancestral temple praying for the prosperity of the people. He carries out benefactions, commanding that the dead should be mourned, the sick inquired after, and the elderly protected and cared for. He causes bran and grill to be sent to them and sees to it that their sleeping mats are comfortably thick. All this is to speed the myriad things on their return journey as the year begins to wane. He commands the officials of the women's quarters to dye fabrics in various hues and multicolored designs, patterned and ornamented. Blue gray, yellow, white, and black. There may be none that are not beautiful and fine. This is to provide new vestments for the ancestral temple. There must be a display of things that are brightly new. 540 seconds forward slash 6. 13.
In this month, the trees that were planted are fully flourishing, and one must not dare cut them. It is not permitted to call an assembly of the nobles, to raise earthworks, to recruit corvée labor, or to call up armies. If these things were done, heaven inevitably would call down calamities. The soil is richly wet from the humid heat, and the great rains fall in season, beneficially bringing to an end the life cycle of the grassy plants. It is permitted to 19 fertilize the fields and to enrich the boundary strips between the fields. 540 seconds forward slash 1516. If during the last month of summer the ordinances of spring were carried out, the kernels of grain would scatter and fall, the people would suffer many colds and coughs, and people would depart the country. If the ordinances of autumn were carried out, hills and lowlands alike would be flooded, the grain that had been sown would not ripen, and there would be many women's calamities, equals miscarriages. If the ordinances of winter were carried out, then winds and cold would arrive out of season. Falcons and hawks would snatch their prey, unseasonably, early, and along the four borders of the country, people would withdraw to places of safety. 540 seconds forward slash 1819. The sixth month governs the lesser in gathering. Its tree is the Catalpa. 540 seconds forward slash 21. 5.7. In the first month of autumn, Zedayo points to she, WSW. The Luna. Lodge, Dipper culminates at dusk, the Lodge, Net culminates at dawn. Autumn, occupies the west. Its days are Jeg and Z. The fullness of potency is in metal. Its beasts are those of the hairy class. Its pentatonic note is shag. The pitch pipe of the seventh month is tranquil pattern. The number of autumn is nine. Its flavor is pungent. Its smell is rancid. Its sacrifices are made to the door god. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the liver is offered first. Cool winds arrive, and, the hoarfrost descends. Cold weather. Cicadas sing. Hawks sacrifice birds. This is, used, as a signal to, begin. Executing criminals. The Son of Heaven wears white clothing. He mounts. A carriage drawn by, black-maned white horses. He wears white jade. Pendants, and flies a white banner. He eats hemp seed with dog meat. He drinks water gathered from the eight winds and cooks with fire. Kindled from, Kudrea branches. The Imperial Ladies of the Western. Palace wear white clothing with white trim. They play music on white. Metal, bells. The weapon, of autumn, is the halberd 20 the domestic. Animal, of autumn, is the dog. The son of heaven, holds the dawn. Session of court in the corner, chamber of the Mictag, to the left of the. Comprehensive template, chamber in order to promulgate the autumn ordinances. He commands his officials to search out the euphilial and afrateral and those who are oppressive, cruel, tyrannical, and ruthless. In order to punish them, thus encouraging the waxing of baleful QE. 540 seconds forward slash 23 540 thirds forward slash 3. On the first day of autumn, the Son of Heaven personally leads the three sires, 
the nine lords, and the great nobles to welcome the autumn. At, the altar of, the western suburbs. Returning, from this ceremony, at, court he bestows rewards on the leaders of his armies and on his, soldiers. He, orders the generals and commanders to select soldiers and, sharpen weapons, seeking out and selecting men who are heroic and, valiant, placing trust in those of proven accomplishments. This is done, so that he might chastise the unrighteous and investigate and punish the overbearing and those who are derelict in their duties. The execution of these orders must extend to the farthest reaches of the realm. He orders those in authority to set in order the laws and regulations and to repair the prisons to prohibit licentiousness and bring an end to depravity, and, to judge criminal cases and adjudicate disputes at law. Heaven and earth now begin to be severe, it therefore is not permissible to act with mildness. In this month the farmers begin to present their newly harvested grain to the throne. The son of heaven, ritually, tastes the new grain and then offers it as the first sacrificial offering in the inner shrine of the ancestral temple. He orders all the officials to begin to gather the tax grain to complete the building of barriers and embankments to pay careful attention to embankments and dikes in order to prepare for floods to repair city walls and boundary walls, and to refurbish palaces and mansions. There must be no enfeffment of nobles or raising high officials to office, there must be no bestowals of costly gifts or any sending forth of important embassies. 543 forward slash 59 If the ordinances for this month are observed, the cool winds will arrive in 30 days. 543 forward slash 910. If during the first month of autumn the ordinances of winter were observed, the yin kui would be excessive, land. Snails 21 would devour the grain, and rog, barbarian, warriors would invade. If the ordinances of spring were observed, the country would suffer drought, the young kiwi would return, out of season, and the five kinds of grain would not yield any harvest. If the ordinances of summer were observed, there would be many disastrous fires, cold and heat would not conform to their seasonal order, and the people would suffer fevers. 543 forward slash 1213 the seventh month governs the army. Its tree is the china berry. 543 forward slash 15. 5.8. In the second month of autumn, Zedayo points to you, W. The Luna. Lodge, ox leader culminates at dusk, the lodge, turtle beak culminates. At dawn. Autumn occupies the west. Its days are Jeg and Z. Its beasts are those of the hairy class. Its pentatonic note is Shag. The pitch pipe of the eighth month is Southern Regulator. The number of autumn is nine. Its flavor is pungent. Its smell is rancid. Its sacrifices are made to the door god. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the liver is offered first. The cool winds arrive. Look for the wild geese to arrive. Swallows return to their wintering grounds, and flocks of birds fly to and fro. The Son of Heaven wears white clothing. He mounts, a carriage drawn by 
black maned white horses. He wears white jade, pendants, and flies a white banner. He eats hemp seed with dog meat. He drinks water. Gathered from the eight winds and cooks with fire, kindled from Kudreya branches. The imperial ladies of the Western Palace wear white clothing with white trim. They play music on white metal bells. The weapon of autumn is the halberd. The domestic animal of autumn is the dog. The Son of Heaven, holds the dawn session of court in the comprehensive template, chamber of the Migtag. He orders those in authority to increase the strictness of all punishments, beheadings and other capital. Punishments must be applied appropriately, with neither excess nor leniency. If the application of punishments is not appropriate, the penalty will revert to those in authority. 22, 540 thirds forward slash 1721. In this month the elderly must be carefully attended to, they are given stools and walking sticks, kanji and grill, drink and food. He commands those in charge of sacrifices and prayer to go to the sacrificial beasts and see to their fodder and grain, examine their fatness or leanness, and see that they are of uniform color. The officials, check the sacrificial beasts for suitability and color, examine their quality and type, measure whether they are small or large, and see whether they are immature or fully grown. When, they are sure that, none fail to meet the Required standard, the Son of Heaven, sacrifices them, in an exorcism to lead in the autumn cue. He, takes a dog and, ritually, tastes, its flesh, along with, hemp seed, and then offers them as the first sacrificial offerings in the inner chamber of the, ancestral, temple. In this month, it is permitted to build city walls and outer fortifications, to establish metropolises and walled towns, to dig underground irrigation channels and storage pits, and to repair granaries and storehouses. He also commands those in authority more urgently to collect the taxes, due from the people, to store vegetables, and to accumulate large stores of all sorts of things. The officials exhort the people to plant the winter wheat 23 without missing the time for doing so. If any should miss the time for planting, they will be punished without fail. In this month the thunder begins to recede. Hibernating creatures shut the doors of their burrows. The deadly yin qi gradually becomes abundant, and the yang qi daily declines. Water begins to dry up. Day and night are equally divided. The Son of Heaven orders the Master of Markets to calibrate correctly the weights and measures, equalize the balance beam and its weights, correct the weight of the June the Dan, and the Cati, and the volume, of the Peck and the Pale. He orders his officials to regulate barrier gates and markets and to bring in, to the capital, merchants and travelers, to import goods and wealth so as to promote the affairs of the people, coming from the four quarters and assembling from distant places. They arrive with wealth and goods. There is no deficiency in what is offered, in the markets, no exhaustion of what is made available for use, thus affairs of all sorts are facilitated. 543 forward slash 23. 
5.44ths forward slash 6. If during the second month of autumn theodiases of spring were carried out, the autumn rains would not fall, plants and trees would blossom, out of season, and the country would be in fear. If the ordinances of summer were carried out, the country would suffer drought. Creatures that hibernate would not retire to their burrows, and the five kinds of grain would all, unseasonably, sprout again. If the ordinances of winter were carried out, calamities caused by wind would arise over and over again, the thunder that had abated would break out again prematurely, and plants and trees would die too soon. 544ths forward slash 89. The eighth month governs military officers. Its tree is the Kudreya. 544ths forward slash 11. 5.9. In the last month of autumn, Zedayero points to Zu, WNW. The Luna. Lodge, emptiness culminates at dusk, the lodge, willow culminates at dawn. Autumn, occupies the west. Its days are Jeg and Z. Its beasts are, those of the, hairy, class. Its, pentatonic, note is shag. The pitch, pipe, of the ninth month, is tireless. The number, of autumn, is nine. Its flavor is pungent. Its smell is rancid. Its sacrifices are made to the door. God. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the liver is offered first. Wild geese arrive as guests. Sparrows enter the ocean and turn into clams. Chrysanthemums bear yellow flowers. Dolls sacrifice small animals and kill birds. 24 The Son of Heaven wears white clothing. He mounts a carriage drawn by black maned white horses. He wears white jade pendants and flies a white banner. He eats hemp seed with dog meat. He drinks water gathered from the eight winds and cooks with fire. Kindled from, Kudreya branches. The imperial ladies of the western. Palace wear white clothing with white trim. They play music on white. Metal, bells. The weapon, of autumn, is the halberd. The domestic animal. Of autumn, is the dog. The Son of Heaven, holds the dawn session of Court in the corner, chamber of the Mictag, to the right of the Comprehensive Template, chamber. He, commands those in authority To further increase the severity of their proclamations. He, orders all Officials, to see to it that, among nobles and commoners, alike, there is None who does not fulfill his duty to bring in, the harvest, in accordance with the going into storage, equals quiescence, of heaven and earth. Nothing must be taken out, of storehouses. He, also issues orders to the chief minister that when all agricultural affairs are settled and, the grain tax has been, received, he should present an accounting of receipts of the five kinds of grain. The grain harvested from the sacred fields is stored in the spirit granary. 544ths forward slash 1318. In this month the hoarfrost begins to descend, and, the various artisans rest from their work. He, therefore commands those in authority to make, a public announcement, saying, the cold QE has definitely set in. The people's strength cannot withstand it. All should, now, stay inside.
their dwellings. On the first ding day of the month, the musicians enter the hall of study to practice playing wind instruments. A great sacrificial feast is held for the Theog 25. The beasts offered in sacrifice are sampled. The Son of Heaven assembles the lords of the land and those who govern all of the districts so that they may receive the almanac, which sets the first days of the months of the coming year. He gives the lords of the land the light and heavy standard, waits for the taxation of the people. The annual schedule for presenting tribute is set according to the distance of the fief from the royal domain and the quality of the land. He also instructs them in hunting so that they may practice the use of the five weapons. He orders the grand charioteer and the seven grades of grooms to yoke up the chariots and set out banners. Chariots are assigned to the nobles on the basis of rank and are arrayed in correct order before the screen of state of the ruler. The maestro verze, with his baton of office stuck into his sash, stands facing north and gives the hunters their instructions. Then the Son of Heaven, wearing martial garb and wide-spreading ornaments, grasps his bow and holds his arrows, and goes forth to hunt. At the conclusion of the hunt, he orders the master of sacrificial rites to sacrifice some of the game to the gods of the four directions. In this month, the leaves of the plants and trees turn yellow and fall. Then their branches are cut and made into charcoal. Hibernating creatures all go farther into concealment. Thereupon, those in authority hasten the process of judgment and punishment and do not delay in executing the guilty. The Son of Heaven receives the petitions of those whose emoluments and rank do not correspond to their due and of those who have not received care and nurture according to right principles. He orders the master of works to go along the highways and open up the roads from the frontiers to the capital. In this month, the sun of heaven takes a dog and ritually tastes its flesh along with hemp seed and then presents them as the first sacrificial offering in the inner chamber of the ancestral temple. 544ths forward slash 2545ths forward slash 2. If the ordinances of summer were observed in the final month of autumn, then the country would suffer floods, and the winter stores would be destroyed. The people would suffer respiratory diseases. If the ordinances of winter were observed, there would be many robbers and Bandits in the country, the frontiers would be unquiet, and the territory of the state would be divided and split up by others. If the ordinances of spring were observed, warm winds would arrive out of season, the people's energies, QE, would be dissipated accordingly, and battalions and companies of troops would thereupon rise up in rebellion. 545ths forward slash 4. 5. The ninth month governs the lords of the land 26 its tree is the Sephora. 545ths forward slash 7. 5.10. In the first month of winter, Zedeo points to high, NNW. The Luna. Lodge, rooftop culminates at dusk, 
The Lodge, Seven Stars culminates at Dawn Winter, occupies the North Its days are ray and gooey The fullness Of potency is in water Its beasts are, those of the, armored, class Its Pentatonic, note is you The pitch pipe, of the tenth month, is responsive Bell The number, of winter, is six its flavor is salty. Its smell is putrid. Its sacrifices are made to the well god. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the kidneys are offered first. Water begins to freeze. The earth begins to harden with cold. Pheasants enter the ocean and turn into large clams. The rainbow dragon remains hidden and is not seen. The Son of Heaven wears black clothing. He mounts, a carriage drawn by, black horses. He wears black jade, pendants, and flies a black banner. He eats millet with suckling pig. He drinks water gathered from the eight winds and cooks with fire, kindled from pine branches. The imperial ladies of the northern palace wear black clothing with black trim. They play music on chimestones. The weapon of winter is the partisan 27 the domestic animal of winter is the pig 28 the son of heaven holds the dawn. Session of court in the corner chamber of the MGTAG, to the left of the dark hall, chamber, in order to promulgate the winter ordinances. He commands those in authority to reinstitute the general prohibitions. It is prohibited to walk around, outside the city walls, gates of cities and outer fortifications are closed, and Strangers are placed under detention. Punishments are speedily carried out, and, those under sentence of death are killed. Those who have corruptly abused their positions to confound the law are punished. 545 forward slash 914 On the first day of winter the Son of Heaven personally leads the three sires the nine lords, and the great nobles to welcome the year at the altar of the northern suburbs. Returning from this ceremony, he bestows rewards on the descendants of those who were killed while carrying on the ruler's affairs, and he puts widows and orphans under his protection. In this month he commands the master of prayers to pray and sacrifice to the spirits that they might establish, as true and correct, the oracles of the tortoise and the milfoil stalks, inquiring by means of the trigrams and the bone crackings to foretell good fortune and ill fortune. In this month, the Son of Heaven begins to wear fur garments. He commands all the officials to carefully cover up and store away all articles for which they are responsible. He commands the maestro verze to carry out the collecting and gathering. City walls and outer fortifications are repaired and their doors and gates are inspected. Door bolts and fastenings are repaired and Keys and locks are carefully attended to. Earthen mounds and boundary walls are strengthened, and frontier and border fortifications are repaired. The defenses of important passes are strengthened, and narrow defiles and byways are blocked up. Regulations are issued with regard to terms of mourning and inquiries are made, regarding, the quality of inner and outer coffins, 
burial clothes and shrouds. The designs of grave mounds and tumuli are regulated with regard to size and height, so that for nobles and commoners, the humble or the honorable, each has its proper gradation. In this month, the master of artisans verifies the results of the year's labors, displaying the ritual vessels and examining their conformity to the prescribed patterns, those that are of fine quality are offered to the throne. In the carrying out of the work of the artisans, if there is anyone who, through hateful and dilatory conduct, produces things that are meretricious or shoddy, the appropriate criminal sentence must be carried out. In this month there is a great feast 29 the Son of Heaven prays for blessings for the coming year. A grand rite of prayer and sacrifice is conducted at the shrine of the founder of the lineage and a general feast is given for the royal ancestors. The Son of Heaven rewards the farmers so that they may rest from their labors. He commands the generals and other military officers to give lectures on warcraft to the troops and to have them practice archery and chariot driving and to engage in trials of strength. He also orders the superintendent of waters and the master of fisheries to collect the taxes due on the products of the rivers, springs ponds, and marshes. There must be no embezzlement or over-collection of these taxes. 545th forward slash 1623. If during the first month of winter the ordinances of spring were observed, then the freezing of the earth would not be complete. The QE of earth would issue forth and spread about, and the people in large numbers would drift away and be lost to the kingdom. If the ordinances of summer were observed, there would be many hot wind storms. Even in the dead of winter, it would not be cold, hibernating creatures would re-emerge. If the ordinances of autumn were observed, then snow and frost would not come in season. Minor warfare would break out from time to time, and territory would be usurped and seized by invaders. 545th forward slash 2526. The tenth month governs the master of horses. Its tree is the sandalwood. 545th forward slash 28. 5.11. In the middle month of winter, Zedayero points to Z, N. The Lunar Lodge. Eastern, wall culminates at dusk, the lodge, chariot platform culminates. At dawn. Winter, occupies the north. Its days are Ray and Gui. Its beasts. Are, those of the, armored, class. Its, pentatonic, note is you. The pitch pipe of the eleventh month is yellow bell. The number of winter is six. Its flavor is salty. Its smell is putrid. Its sacrifices are made to the well. God. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the kidneys are offered first. The ice becomes stronger. The earth begins to crack. The gadda. Bird does not cry thirty tigers begin to mate. The son of heaven wears black. Clothing. He mounts, a carriage drawn by, black horses. He wears black. Jade, pendants, and flies a black banner. He eats millet with suckling pig. He drinks water gathered from the eight winds and cooks with fire. 
kindled from pine branches. The imperial ladies of the northern palace wear black clothing with black trim. They play music on chime stones. The weapon of winter is the partisan. The domestic animal of winter is the pig. The son of heaven holds the dawn session of court in the dark. Hall, chamber of the Mictag. He commands those in authority, saying, No works having to do with earth may be undertaken, nor may rooms and dwellings be opened. He also commands them to call together the masses and say to them, If anyone opens up what has been shut away by heaven and earth, then hibernating creatures all will die, the people will surely suffer illness and pestilence, and in the wake of this will come destruction. It is obligatory to arrest thieves and robbers and to punish those who are debauched, licentious, deceitful, or fraudulent. He issues a pronouncement saying, this is the month when nothing grows. He commands the superintendent of eunuchs to reissue the standing orders of the palace and to examine the doors and gates and attend to the rooms and apartments, all must be closed up tightly. There must be a general diminution of all affairs having to do with women. He also issues orders to the master brewer, saying that the glutinous millet and rice must be uniform in quality, the yeast cakes must be ready, the soaking and cooking must be done under conditions of cleanliness, and the water must be fragrant. The earthenware vessels must be of excellent quality, and the fire must be properly regulated. There must be no discrepancy or error in these things. The Son of Heaven also commands those in authority to pray to the four seas, the great rivers, and the illustrious marshes. 546 forward slash 18. In this month, if the farmers have any crops that they have not harvested and stored away in granaries, or any cattle, horses, or other domestic animals that they have allowed to stray and get lost, then anyone who takes such things will not be subject to prosecution. In the mountains, forests, marshes and moors, if there are any who are able to gather wild food to eat or to capture rats and other small game, the superintendent of uncultivated land should instruct and guide them in these activities. If there are any who encroach on or steal from such folk, they will be punished without mercy. In this month the day reaches its shortest extent. Yin and Yang Contend the superior man fasts and practices austerities. His dwelling place must be closed, and his body must be tranquil. He abstains from music and sex and forbids himself to feel lust or desire. He rests his body and quiets his whole nature. In this month, Lai Chi buds stand out on their twigs and the rue plant begins to grow. Earthworms wriggle. The palmate deer shed their antlers. Springs of water stir into movement 31. Accordingly, this is the time to fell trees forward and collect bamboo for arrow shafts. Unserviceable articles in offices and articles of equipment that are of no use are discarded. Gate towers, pavilions, doors, and gates are repaired with mud plaster, and prison walls are repaired, thus assisting in the closing up of heaven and earth.
if during the middle month of winter the summer ordinances were observed, the country would suffer drought. Vapors and fog would spread. Gloom and obscurity, and the sound of thunder would break out. If the ordinances of autumn were observed, the season 32 would have excessive rain. Melons and gourds would not ripen. The country would experience major warfare. If the ordinances of spring were observed, insect pests and caterpillars would cause destruction. The rivers and springs all would run dry. The people would suffer greatly from ulcerating diseases. 546 forward slash 1016. The eleventh month governs the Metropolitan Guards. Its tree is the Jujube. 546 forward slash 18. 5.12. In the last month of winter, Zedayero points to Chu, Nne. The Luna. Lodge, bond culminates at dusk. The lodge, root culminates at dawn. Winter, occupies the north. Its days are ray and gooey. Its beasts are, those, of the, armored, class. Its, pentatonic, note is you. The pitch pipe, of the, twelfth month, is great regulator. The number, of winter, is six. Its flavor is salty. Its smell is putrid. Its sacrifices are made to the well god. From the body of the sacrificial victim, the kidneys are offered first. Wild geese head north. Magpies add to their nests. The cock. Pheasant cries, and hens cluck and lay their eggs. The son of heaven. Wears black clothing. He mounts, a carriage drawn by, black horses. He. Wears black jade, pendants, and flies a black banner. He eats millet with. Suckling pig. He drinks water gathered from the eight winds and cooks. With fire, kindled from, pine branches. The imperial ladies of the northern. Palace wear black clothing with black trim. They play music on chimestones. The weapon, of winter, is the partisan. The domestic animal, of winter, is the pig. The son of heaven, holds the dawn session of court in. The, chamber of the Mictag, to the right of the dark hall, chamber. He. Commands those in authority to conduct a grand exorcism, in which Sacrificial victims are torn apart on all, four, sides, of the city walls An Earthen ox is set out, to lead away the cold cue He, orders the master of fisheries to commence fishing The son of Heaven personally goes, to take part in, the fish shooting the fish that are caught, are presented as first offerings in the inner temple of the ancestral temple. Orders are issued to the people to withdraw from the storehouses, the five kinds of seed grain and to the farmers to calculate the schedules for using the teams of draft animals to put in order their plowsheries and to equip themselves with the implements of cultivation. He commands the master of music to give a grand concert of wind instruments and then to stop any further music making. He also commands the superintendents of the four directions to collect and set in order firewood for use in the ceremonies of the inner temple of the ancestral temple, as well as firewood and kindling for sacrifices of every kind. 
546 forward slash 2026. In this month, the sun completes its circuit through the stages of the 12 divisions of the celestial circle. The moon completes its cycle. The stars have made a complete revolution around the heavens. The year is about to begin again. Orders are given that the farmers and commoners must rest, that they not be employed in any public works. The son of heaven calls together his sires, the lords, and the great officers to promulgate 33 the statutes of the realm and to discuss the seasonal ordinances in order to plan what is suitable for the coming year. He commands the Grand Recorder to make a list of the nobles in order of rank, assigning to them their appropriate levies of sacrificial animals for the coming year, for use in worship of the Sovereign of Heaven Supreme. Theok and at the shrines of the gods of the soil and the grain. He also commands the states, ruled by fief holders, having the same surname as that of the ruler, to provide fodder and feed for the sacrificial animals used in worship in the inner temple of the ancestral temple. He also commands all from the lords, knights, and great officials to the common people to provide articles for use in worship at the sacrifices to the mountains, forests, and illustrious rivers. 547 forward slash 14. If during the last month of winter the ordinances of autumn were observed, then the white dew would descend too early, and shellbearing creatures would suffer deformities. 34 on the four frontiers, people would enter places of refuge. If the ordinances of spring were observed, pregnant females and the young would suffer injury, the country would suffer many intractable diseases. If one were to inquire about this fate, it would be called adverse. If the ordinances of summer were observed, floods would cause ruin in the country, the seasonable snow would not fall, the ice would melt, and the cold would dissipate. 547 forward slash 67. The twelfth month governs the prisons. Its tree is the chestnut. 547 forward slash 9. 5.13. There are five positions. 547 forward slash 11. The extreme limit of the eastern region begins from Steelestone Mountain, passing through the land of Chaoxia 35 and the land of Giants. In the east it reaches the place from whence the sun rises, 36 the land of the Fu, Sang, Tree the wild fields of the Greenland trees. The places ruled by Taihao and Gumag, encompass, 12,000 li. The ordinances, of the East, say, hold fast to all prohibitions. Open. What is closed or covered. Penetrate to the utmost all blocked up passes. Extend to the frontiers and passes. Wander afar. Reject resentment and hatred. Free slaves and those condemned to hard labor for crimes. Avoid mourning and grief. Refrain from imposing corporal punishments. Open gates and dams. Proclaim a general distribution of wealth from the public treasury. Harmoniously resolve any resentment that may be abroad. Pacify the four directions. Act with pliancy and kindness. Put a stop to hardness and overbearing strength. 
547ths forward slash 1316. The extreme limit of the southern region begins from outside, equals. Beyond, the country of, the people of north facing doors 37 and passes. Through the country of Zedwazu 38 it extends to the wild lands of Stord. Fire and blazing winds. The regions governed by the Vermilion Theak. And Zedurog encompass 12,000 Li. The ordinances, of the south, say, ennoble the virtuous, and, reward. The meritorious. Show kindness to the beneficent and excellent. Come to. The aid of the hungry and thirsty. Raise up those who display prowess in. Agriculture. Relieve the poor and destitute. Show kindness to orphans. And widows. Grieve with the infirm and ill. Dispense great emoluments. And, carry out great bestowals of rewards. Raise up ruined lineages. Support those who have no posterity. Enfef nobles. Establish, in office. Worthy assistants. 547ths forward slash 1820. The extreme limits of the central region extend from Kunlun East. Through the region of, the two peaks. Of, Constancy Mountain 39 this is. Where the sun and the moon have their paths. It is the source of the Han. And Jiang, equals Yagzai, rivers. Here are, the open fields of the multitudes of. People, the lands, suitable for the five, kinds of, grain. At Dragon Gate. The He, equals yellow, and the Kui rivers merge. Here, you the great, took. Swelling earth to dam the flood waters and traced out the nine provinces. These territories extend eastward to Steelestone Mountain. The territories governed by the Yellow Emperor and the Sovereign of the Soil encompass 12,000 Li. The ordinances of the center say, be even handed without inconsistency. Be enlightened without petty fault finding. Embrace. Enfold, cover over, and, enrich as with dew, so that there is none who is. Not tenderly enwrapped in, the royal, bosom. Be vast and overflowing. Without private considerations. Let government be tranquil, to bring about. Harmony. Succor. Nurture, and feed the old and the weak. Send. Condolences to, the families of, the dead, inquire after the sick, all, to. Escort the myriad creatures on their return 40, 5 forward slash 22 25. The extreme limits of the regions of the west extend from Kun Loon. Through the flowing sands and the sinking feathers westward to the country of three dangers. They extend to the walled city of stone and the metal palace and the open fields of the people who drink kiwi and do not die. The territories governed by Shao Hao and Ruthenium Shu encompass 12,000 Li. The ordinances of the West say scrupulously use the laws Punishment of the guilty must be carried out. Take precautions against Thieves and robbers. Prohibit sexual license and debauchery. Issue Instructions regarding the general collection of harvest taxes. Make a Careful record of all collections of revenue. Repair city walls and outer Fortifications. Repair and clear out drainage pipes. Close off footpaths. And lanes, block up sluices and ditches. Shut off flowing water, swamps. 
gorges, and valleys. Guard doors and gates. Set out, in readiness. Weapons and armor. Select officials. Punish the lawless. 547ths forward slash 27 548ths forward slash 3. The extreme limits of the regions of the north extend from the nine. Marshes and the farthest reaches of exhaust the summer gloom, north. To the valley where ordinances cease 41 here are the open fields of freezing cold, piled up ice, snow, hail, frost, sleet, and of pooling, soaking, massed up water. The regions governed by Zedwazu and Zua. MIG encompass 12,000 Li 42. The ordinances, of the North, say, extend all prohibitions. Firmly shut. And store away. Repair, the fortifications of, the frontiers and passes. Fix. Gates and water barriers. Prohibit walking around, outside the city walls. Speedily carry out corporal punishments. Kill those who are under. Sentence of death. Close up the city gates and the gates of the outer. Fortifications. On a large scale, conduct investigations of strangers. Put a stop to communications and travel. Prohibit the pleasures of the night. Close up chambers, early and open them late, in order to restrain lewd folk. If lewd persons are already to be found, they must be seized and held under severe restraint. Heaven has already almost completed its cycle, punishments and executions must be carried out, without any being pardoned, even in the case of royal relatives of surpassing venerableness the law must be carried out to the full degree there must be no travel by water there must be no opening up of that which is stored away there must be no relaxation of punishments 548ths forward slash 59 5.14 there are six coordinates 548ths forward slash 11. The first month of spring and the first month of autumn are a coordinate. The middle month of spring and the middle month of autumn are a coordinate. The last month of spring and the last month of autumn are a coordinate. The first month of summer and the first month of winter are a coordinate. The middle month of summer and the middle month of winter are a coordinate. The last month of summer and the last month of winter are a coordinate. In the first month of spring, crops begin to grow. In the first month of autumn, crops begin to wither. In the middle month of spring, crops begin to emerge. In the middle month of autumn, Crops, begin to be brought in. In the last month of spring, crops, are fully grown, in the last. Month of autumn, crops, are harvested on a large scale. In the first month of summer, things, begin to slow down, in the. First month of winter. Things, begin to quicken. In the middle month of summer, the day, reaches its greatest. Length. In the middle month of winter, the day reaches its shortest length. In the last month of summer, accretion reaches its climax. In the last month of winter, recision reaches its climax. Thus, if the government fails in its duties in the first month, the cool winds will not arrive in the seventh month. If the government fails in its duties in the second month, the thunder will not go into hiding in the eighth month. If the government fails in its duties in the third month, 
the frost will not descend in the ninth month. If the government fails in its duties in the fourth month, it will not be cold in the tenth month. If the government fails in its duties in the fifth month, hibernating creatures will emerge in the winter in the eleventh month. If the government fails in its duties in the sixth month, grasses and trees will not be bare of leaves in the twelfth month. If the government fails in its duties in the seventh month, the great cold will not disperse in the first month. If the government fails in its duties in the eighth month, the thunder will not be heard in the second month. If the government fails in its duties in the ninth month, the spring winds will not cease in the third month. If the government fails in its duties in the tenth month, the grasses and trees will not bear seed in the fourth month. If the government fails in its duties in the eleventh month, there will be hail and frost in the fifth month. If the government fails in its duties in the twelfth month, the five kinds of grain will sicken and become weedy in the sixth month. 548ths forward slash 1319. In spring, if the ordinances of summer are carried out, there will be inundations. If the ordinances of autumn are carried out, there will be two much water if the ordinances of winter are carried out there will be severity in summer if the ordinances of spring are carried out there will be excessive winds if the ordinances of autumn are carried out there will be wild growth of vegetation if the ordinances of winter are carried out there will be interruption of natural processes in autumn if the ordinances of summer are carried out there will be untimely blooming of flowers if the ordinances of spring are carried out there will be untimely breaking out of new buds if the ordinances of winter are carried out there will be spoilage of the harvest in winter if the ordinances of spring are carried out, there will be excessive flows of water. If the ordinances of summer are carried out, there will be drought. If the ordinances of autumn are carried out, there will be fog. 548ths forward slash 2122 5.15 Regulating the standards for the great regulation of yin and yang, there are six standards. Heaven is the marking cord. Earth is the level. Spring is the compass 43. Summer is the balance beam. Autumn is the square. Winter is the weight 44. The marking cord is that by which the myriad things are marked. Out. The level is that by which the myriad things are leveled. The compass is that by which the myriad things are made. Round. The balance beam is that by which the myriad things are. Equalized. The square is that by which the myriad things are made square. The weight is that by which the myriad things are weighed. 548ths forward slash 2428. The marking cord as a standard. It is straight without swerving. It is long and inexhaustible. It is long enduring and does not wear out. It reaches to far distances without deviation. It matches heaven in potency. It matches the spirits in illumination. By its means, what one desires may be obtained and what one loathes may be caused to perish. From ancient times to the present, there can be no deviation from its trueness. Its innate potency is vast and subtle, it is broad and capacious. 
For this reason, the Supreme Theog takes it as the ancestor of things. 548ths forward slash 3549ths forward slash 2. The level is a standard. It is flat and not bumpy. Balanced and not inconsistent. Broad and capacious. Spacious and abundant. So as to be harmonious. It is pliant and not hard. Acute but not injurious. Flowing and not stopped up. Simple, to use, and unsullied. Expansively penetrating and, proceeding in, an orderly course. It is comprehensive and subtle but not sluggish. The level makes things perfectly flat without error. Thereby the myriad things are leveled. The people are without malice or scheming, resentment and hatred. Do not arise. Therefore the Supreme Theoc uses it to make all things level. 549ths forward slash 4. 6. The compass as a standard. It revolves without repeating itself. It is round without turning, from its course. Great but without excess. Broad and spacious. Feelings and actions are ordered, thereby. It is expansively penetrating and, proceeds, on an orderly. Course. Abundant. Simple. The hundred forms of resentment do not arise. The standard of the compass does not err. It gives birth to both QE and pattern. 549ths forward slash 89. The balance beam is a standard. It is deliberate but does not lag behind. It is impartial and not resented. It bestows but is not benevolent. It condoles but does not rebuke. It adjusts to an appropriate level the people's emoluments. It continues but does not heap up. Majestic. Brilliant. Only those possessing, potency act thus. Nurturing, bringing to full growth, transforming, rearing. The myriad creatures abundantly flourish. It makes the five, kinds of, grain bear seed. And the bounded fields be fruitful. Government, by this standard, does not a, heaven and earth are. Illuminated thereby. 549ths forward slash 1113. The square is a standard. It is majestic and not contrary. It is hard and unbroken 45. It seizes but does not provoke resentment. Penetrates, within but does no injury. It is stern and severe but not coercive. Its ordinances are carried out but without wasteful destruction. In killing and smiting, its ends are attained. The enemy is brought to submission. The square's trueness is without error, all punishments are, thereby, suitably fulfilled. 549ths forward slash 1516. The weight is a standard. It is hasty but not excessive. It kills but does not slaughter. It is filled to completion. It is comprehensive and subtle but without sluggishness. It inflicts destruction on things but does not single things out. It punishes and kills without pardon. Sincerity and trustworthiness are essential to it. Strength and sincerity make it firm. Cleanse away filth. Chastise the evil. Wickedness may not be tolerated. Therefore, if correct, policies, for winter are to be carried out, the ruler must appear. Weak in order to be strong. Pliant in order to be firm. The weight's trueness is without error, through it the myriad things are shut away. 549ths forward slash 1820. 
in the regulation of the MGTAG. Be tranquil, taking the level as a pattern. Be active, taking the marking cord as a pattern. For the government of spring, adopt the compass. For the government of autumn, adopt the square. For the government of winter, adopt the weight. For the government of summer, adopt the balance beam. Thus dryness and dampness, cold and heat, will arrive in there. Proper seasonal nodes. Sweet rain and fertile dew will descend in their proper times.